Winner of race six is number five, Fly to Rio, daughter of Pomodoro from the Greg Enion Yard. Well done to Club Flestad for breeding Greg Enion training and owning. But uh, before we get to Grand Finicac, jockey who ride, uh, will row the filly. But Ngabisi uh, Maglesi, he receives his thousand rand from Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing. Grant, well done for the win. Thank you. Were you happy to, to commit and, and take up the lead? Yeah, you know, um, Enion sort of told myself an Aussie, whoever finds yourself there, um, you know, work it out between you and my fully flew out the pins. And I said, I ain't waiting for Aussie. <laughs> and uh, I managed to get there quite comfortably and she was loving it. Um, very gutsy filly. And I'm just so, um, you know, thankful for Mr. Enion for allowing me to ride again. It was this filly that's run for me. <laughs> you put a good word for, your, for yourself, but uh, lovely to see you come to form and, and also for a small yard grant, lovely to see you bring them home. Yeah, and you know, you get uh, trainers like Pete Stein and Mr. Indian who doesn't um, have the, if I can say, the best quality of horses because of the money they have to purchase for the horses and still do so well, so credit to them. Um, it would be nice if they get some more support because um, they deserve it, especially guys like Pete Stein and you know, Mr. Indian that They've been supporting me since uh, rising Cape Town, which was about 12 years ago. And, um, you know, they do deserve every success. Grant, well done for the win. Thank you so much. Next, I'm going to chat to uh, trainer, <laughs> trainer and uh, owner Greg Enyan. And uh, he's having a little, a little laugh with Grant. He's definitely, I said, he's, he's, putting in a, he's got a, quite a merit rating there, putting in a good word for himself. Yeah, I said to him, Grant, no, is he looking for a present from me? <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, no, I'm just very thankful that it was a great ride by him. I must say, for the second time today, he's just kitted him, kitted the jocks behind him, and he, he had a, a bit in hand, and he brought it out of her when when he, when he needed to, and I think she won well. I think he only gave her two little, light little smacks, so yeah, very good. I'm very happy, and uh, I can't even remember who bred her, quite honestly, but uh, I, yeah, I bought this filly for twenty grand at. Uh, at the one sale and she went out the ring without a bit and I said I'll take her from Terry Andrews. He had bought her, I think he spec bought her. Anyway, but uh, she's done very well and I'm very happy for and well done to my wife I think. She's she she's actually her horse. <laughs> so she's our horse. <laughs> but thank you very much. And well done to to Long One, uh, my my head guy. He's looked after the yard and, and Kim at home. Um, she looks after the yard like a like a Hitler, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they've worked they, they've worked very well while I've been away trudging around the sales, and thanks to them, I really am uh, you know uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know the word to use, but I'm very thankful to them for for the efforts that they've put in. Well, the good news now is you get to celebrate the win with your wife. Yes, definitely I'll do that. I'm going to have a glass of bubbly before I saddle my egg. <laughs> well done. There Thank you go. You. That's uh, Greg Enion for, well done to him for training and owning number five, Fly to Rio, daughter of Pomodoro. Well done to Club Flestad for breeding. And uh, next up, we've got MJ chatting to Anthony. Anthony Andrews is in no Sean is off for 250 days. Uh, Anthony a maiden in a handicap, but uh, he ran a cracking race. Yeah, you know, like you said, he's been off for 250 odd days, um, being a maiden, carrying 59 kilos against winners and some of those hard knocking horses. So he ran a cracking race today. Yeah, interesting. Looking at his previous form, uh, average rating was he actually his previous form in the maidens was stronger than this field today. Yeah, but it doesn't help being off 250 odd days. So, you know, he ran a big race. I think he's just going to come on from this run. Didn't expect him to be that handy and towing with me throughout the race. But uh, I think that's what happens when you're off for such a long period of time. But nevertheless, he ran a cracking race. And uh, I think uh, he'll bring out of his maidens shortly. Yeah, and nice also, and I'm sure one to follow for the public. Yeah, definitely. I think Mr. Marshall did a great job with Adele in getting him back. I know he's had some soundness issues, and I think both his front feet are screwed together. So, um, you know, we, we, all that considering, I know his brother's a full brother to Black Nap, so hopefully, you know, he'll get out his maiden soon, and he's been off for a long time, and the owner's keeping him. It's a, it's a long time to wait, but hopefully he'll be out there soon. And uh, I just want to dedicate this day and everybody to um, Dean Holland, good man of mine. Sorry, I lost him. 
yeah, one of those sad things during the week um, that happened. Dean Holland had passed away. Uh, it's well exposed. Unfortunately, the guy had a fall, and yeah, that's racing for you. It, uh, these incidents happened. Just had a chat to Anthony about Norshon that ran third, um, a maiden in uh, in a handicap, a horse that ran hasn't hasn't run for 250 days, and he ran a cracking race. So maybe one to follow.